Hey guys, and welcome back to another Inkscape tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Trace Bitmap tool. Now, this tool is very useful for tracing images you find online or something like that. Right here I have the Batman logo image, which is pretty cool. But right now you can see it's a very rastery image. You can see all the pixels, so it's definitely not a vector. So if we wanted to convert this into a vector, what you do is you select it and then you go up here to path trace bitmap when you do that it'll bring up this dialog box now sometimes this rule works is how many colors it has is how many scans you have actually if it had like if this has two colors then I'd have three scans not two three so just add one now sometimes that won't work depending on how complicated your part is since this is a pretty simple part, if I update, you can see that looks great. So I'm going to change it to colors. I almost always take off smooth. Let's update and let's remove background. Okay, and that looks really good. So if you can go ahead and click update and then OK. And now we have a vectorized image of the Batman logo and it's very clean and crisp no more pixels it's just it traces it really well so now you can tell this you could use for anything and now it is a bitmap so you could even edit this batman logo a little bit if you wanted since they're actually separate which is pretty cool <laughs> so that is the super valuable thing about the uh, trace bitmap tool is because once you do that, you can edit it. I could actually just do Control Shift G to ungroup everything, and now everything is separate. So these are actually two totally separate things. But this tool is like really nice because you can trace just about as complicated or just about as simple and you can see it traced it just about perfectly on the line I mean everything is very crisp I mean you wouldn't even know that you trace bitmapped it now if you had a more complicated part you would have to really up those scans or it'll make it pretty deformed so that is really really useful with the trace bitmap and now if I wanted, I could even draw a circle and, like, union it. And now it's part. So I can totally edit it like that. Because before, I definitely was not able to do that with the um, raster image. And whenever it's a vector now, if you were doing something on, like, a laser cutter, normally you would have the raster image to raster engrave, but with this, you could actually cut this out on the laser because it doesn't use raster to cut it uses vector graphics to cut and raster images to engrave so that is really useful the trace bitmap and I hope this video was useful to you and if it was don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time